Good morning, everyone. So uh, we're on the second day of our trip, and we're still here in La Union, but we're proceeding to Ilocos Sur, vegan, uh, today. And uh, we'll pass by some places along the way. So it's still quite early here in the morning, uh, but I decided to have an early breakfast to get ahead of everyone. So right here, my bed are my equipment and gear. Well, some of them. And let's go see the resort. Here's a pool area and uh, the restaurant. There you go. Oh, they just opened uh, the water pumps. And yeah, right here is the beach. So what happened yesterday was that it rained quite strong in Metro Manila, but then the rain disappeared as we proceeded further north. So the weather here is quite nice. Unfortunately, uh, my cell phone, although it's supposed to be waterproof, uh, stopped working when at the point where we just entered La Union so it's not working right now so I tried uh, the technique of putting it in uh, well, uncooked rice overnight because they say that it's gonna take the moisture out but I could see that the moisture is still, my, is still in my uh, uh, lens so I think that didn't work the other thing also is that I dropped it twice I think and so yeah it's totally dead now I need to fix this up or find a new cell phone before entering the vegan so here you have my breakfast so there you have uh, longanisa well they call it vegan longanisa because it has garlic in it but I don't think uh, th this doesn't look like a vegan longanisa to me because it's it's too it's much bigger than, than what I'm used to seeing. Uh, then of course there's coffee, there's egg, and my not so alive cell phone. And I got a corner table right here. We left Sunset Bay Beach Resort quite late because I had to run out quickly to buy a new cell phone and upload all the apps needed for the trip, including my DJI drone application. Fortunately, BY and George also wanted to chill a bit that morning. We're traveling to Vigan Ilocosur today, but before that, we'll be visiting San Agustin Church in Tagudin, which is the first municipality in Ilocosur from La Union Province. Aside from being a historic church, Tagudin Church also houses the Philippines' first sundial. Stones we carry, clothes we lived in, all the tales we will tell our children. Oh, we're taking the high road. Lay beside me, wake the morning.
Okay, so we've arrived at uh, Tagudin Church. Let me call it Tagudin Church for now because it's easier because this is the church in the town of uh, municipality of Tagudin. Now this church is well known here because it happens to house the very first sundial in the Philippines. So apparently it's it's behind the church so someone offered to show it to us so we'll visit it first and then we'll go inside the church and um, check it out and do some prayers as well because this is normally close to the public so they're very kind enough to show it to us Sana. Okay. Okay. Ano Shout out to Charles Wendell Nieva. Salama Charles. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Father Juan Sorolia, who was the prior of Tagudin in 1832, and who completed the construction of the church in the convent, which is now St. Augustine's School, installed two sun dials. The first is this one, which is at the back of the church and which was installed in 1841. The other sun dial was installed in 1845 and is found in front of the town hall. Yes. So, for example, the sun is there right now. Yeah. Where it's actually one o'clock now. Yeah. No, it's one o'clock. So it's precise. Yes. Oh, that's right. The yes. sun is there. And can you just see? Yeah. 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 So, so there's the sun behind the tree there. You can make it out, right? Yeah. yeah. That is going to cast a shadow right on the one. Yes, it's going to cast a shadow right there. Yeah. On the one right there. So it is working. Hmm. Someone did wind it up. <laughs> <laughs> The solar panels are working. <laughs> okay, and this is the grotto. Okay, so we left our bikes there. I find it's causing some sort of, sort of uh, mini commotion among the kids here. Hello. So, ano pangalan ng simbahan na ito? St. Augustine Parish ng Tagudin. Tapos ito yung parokya. Okay. Nasa eskwelahan? Eskwelahan po yung nasa likod ko nila. Ah. Ay, ito pala yung bell tower. Yung bell tower po. Tapos school na rin. Extension po ng school. Conversion of St. Augustine. Conversion of St. Augustine. It's quite odd that they had to uh, fence out the bell tower here. Now, you know, the reason why in Ilocos, most of the bell towers, or you'll see a lot of old churches where the bell towers are separated from the main body of the church, is because they want it far, so if there's an earthquake, uh, the bell tower won't damage the, the church. The marker of this three-layered belfry states 1854 to 1868. But reports say that Father Jeronimo Rubio built it in 1881. It is detached from the main church, which is typical of earthquake baroque architecture. The church itself is made of brick and stone and was constructed from 1796 to 1832. The church underwent several restorations, but it maintained its Baroque style, which pervades its facade. The main entrance is decorated with Augustinian symbols and crowned by a triangular pediment of Baroque influence. Okay, so let's let's enter. By the way, you see that sign over there that says Porta Santa, so I think this is a and I'll confirm it. I think this is a um, Jubilee Church. Okay.
one of the kids here is kindly showing me around. He's really proud of his church. Okay, so this is the chapel behind the church. Sino to? Si San Agustin? Ilan ang retablo dito? Ilan, ilan ang retablo nyo? Isa, tapos dalawa. Ah, so, so this is the chapel of Mount Mary. So ito yung pangatlong retablo. Sino to? Si... So, bali tatlo ang retablo dito. Okay. George brought us here to this uh, Greek inspired beachfront. And we're gonna have lunch here before heading straight to uh, Vegan. I really like the place. If you look far over there, there's a Greek themed resort. Looks like the Mediterranean over here. Let me show it to you.